we have all experienced the feeling of total exhaustion and needing a break for a day or two. For Supercross racers, their formula for recovery really determines whether they're gonna be 100% for the next event. Homeostasis is the natural balance of all the physiology in a person. Normal temperature, normal heart rate, normal respiratory rate, normal pH in the cells. And the body's constantly striving to maintain homeostasis. Stress is defined as something that tries to overcome or threaten or causes an impact on homeostasis. Our body's physiology is governed by physiologic and neurologic systems. During training, the sympathetic system drives the heart rate, the respiratory rate, blood flow to the tissues. It improves reflexes and strength. During recovery, during rest, the parasympathetic dominates, reducing the respiratory rate, heart rate, normalizing the temperature and the pH, allows for a more restorative sleep and enhancing recovery. The primary neurotransmitter of the sympathetic nervous system is norepinephrine or adrenaline, and the primary neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic system is serotonin, which people know is being beneficial to sleep. Overtraining can be defined as under recovery. Breaking down his body at a frequency that's greater than he's able to rebuild it, the heart rate will increase slightly during breathing in, decrease slightly when the athlete's breathing out, and that's a normal, healthy finding called heart rate variability. It's a sign of good recovery. When an athlete is overtraining or is poorly recovered, we see that the heart rate variability declines. A lot of professional and high-level athletes are employing tools to monitor resting heart rate and heart rate variability as a measure of how well they're training as well as how well they're recovering.